What's up guys, Lamb and Bryce and welcome back to another episode of our Lap of Australia. This week we're checking out Port Lincoln and around there. We've just pulled up to the Whalers Way gate. This is a good one to know, it's actually private property, so you gotta go online and get your code for your key, 40 bucks, and you get a free free night's accommodation to camp on the property. Yeah. We're gonna uh, head through now and start our trek into Whalers Way and check it out. Sounds good. That's a good start. <laughs> it's actually got a child lock on it. Hey. <laughs> I don't know if Em's too convinced about this. What do you reckon? <gasps> wow. Just a chain and a little rusty old butter. Definitely be prepared for some uh, scaling of some cliffs when you come here. <laughs> Once again. Yeah. Safety shoes only. Yeah, exactly. The old Jerusalem cruisers are doing their job. Heading to the next stop, which I am excited for. It's called Cape Wiles, I'm pretty sure. And by the pictures, it looks incredible. So, can you go there and check it out? See some epic cliffs, crashing waves. I'm just going back to the car because I've just spotted some fur seals. So. Gonna get the binoculars and uh, we're gonna spy on them a little bit. It's our last stop in Whalers Way. It's been absolutely epic this sanctuary, private property. It's amazing, but we're gonna head for camp and uh, make some tacos. Port Lincoln didn't actually start here. I gotta rewind a little bit and catch you up. Yesterday, me and my brother headed to Calypso Charters and did the Great White Shark cage diving. 100% recommend doing it with Calypso. The staff are amazing, they really love the Great Whites. They've got great processes in place and it runs really smoothly the whole day. If uh, you are thinking about doing it, definitely do it because it's something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. First stop this morning is Fishy Bay Beach and we've just driven out and there's dolphins right in front of us. It's so cool. So Bryce got the drone off, he's going to see if he can get a bit closer. I wonder if it'll ever get old. It's so cool when you drive out and you just see their little fins. I love it.
What happened? Just a little too far out, I think. Well, you gotta say that's a pretty good morning. Yeah, pretty good start. Where are we off to now? September Beach? Yeah, I think we'll head into the National Park. I think we might just go straight to camp, I don't know. It's a bit cold. Yeah. What are you doing to South Australia? <laughs> We've done ourselves in this trip, haven't we? <laughs> Whose idea was this? Yeah. We had a grouse lunch spot. Oh, yeah, we're bogged. Yeah. Oh, we've max tracked like five times. Cobra's on and hopefully that worked. <laughs> September Beach Campground, come over the dune, and this is what we've been met with. It's insane. It's turquoise water. The sun's come out. I think we've found paradise. Turned into a pretty good day. Not bad. Good morning guys, we've just packed up at September Beach Campground. We, um, we've had quite the wildlife here, we had a little snake go past yesterday, that was awesome. And then last night I thought we were being broken into, I full woke, woke Bryce up and everything. And it turns out we had a kangaroo trying to get into the bin bag on the back of the car. It felt like there was a koala or something on the top of the rooftop. It was full shaking the whole car. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, so now nah, awesome campsite, but now we're off to Memory Cove for the day. Off yeah. of the night as well. We're about 200 metres down the track towards Memory Cove and we've already seen an emu. We've just come up to the gate for Memory Cove that you need a key to access. You get the key from the Port Lincoln Information Centre and it's just a $50 deposit to make sure you bring the key back, but it's totally worth it. We made it. Buddy, I couldn't help myself and as soon as we arrived I had some lunch and I jumped straight in the water so <laughs> I went for a snorkel. Memory Cove, it um, hasn't let us down. Yeah, as good as we remember it, if not better. Now we're going to soak this up for, for the next 24 hours and it looks like the weather's supposed to be alright. And was going for a run this morning to try and warm up and now she's just going for a quick swim. So yeah, I think um, unfortunately our time here is up. Caught heaps of squid last night which is pretty cool. Got some lunch or dinner tonight. Let's go. <sighs> it feels so good. <laughs> Better? Yeah, it was just too nice not to, didn't it? That's fair. One last time. Yeah. Oh, the wind! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's our time in the Lincoln National Park finished. Bryce has just pumped up the tyres and I think we're off to get some groceries and fuel. But um, yeah, if you have the opportunity, definitely come down. Yeah, if you've got a four-wheel drive and you're in Port Lincoln, definitely check out Memory Cove because we love it and it's yeah. worth, the, worth the trek down the, the bumpy track. It's awesome and we forgot to add in the other episodes but we'll put a link in the description below for our guide on, Port, on the Port Lincoln National Park as well as Whaler's Way 
the um, Calypso shark diving and fishery campground, really. Yeah, because that was a great experience, the uh, Great Wild Shark Diving. If you're uh, um and ahhing, definitely think about doing it because it's pretty cool. Bloody oath. But we're off to Coffin Bay next, so you'll see us in the next episode at another awesome national park on the Eyre Peninsula. Thank you.